हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वेजेस एंड टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द लेपिंग जोन इन बीम्स नाउ फर्स्ट टू डिफाइन व्हाट इज लेपिंग लेपिंग मींस दैट दिस इज वन स्टील बार इफ वी प्लेस दिस वन स्टील बार इन बीम सो देन वी पुट द अनदर बार विद दिस स्टील बार इन ऑर्डर टू मेक अ वन बार सो दिस इज नोन एज द ओवरलैपिंग लेंथ और द लेपिंग लेंथ ऑफ द स्टील बार्स इन एनी मेंबर so this is known as this is known as the lipping length now according to different standards they provide different values for this lipping length of the bar and columns we have different values for beam we have different values for footing we have different values of the overlapping length of the bars in different members similarly the different there are different zones where we can provide the lipping of the steel bars so here we will discuss the lipping zone only in the beam and this will be according to the aci standard now according to the aci standard the lipping zones here if i define the lipping zone so the lipping zone is that it l by 8 from the if this is my beam and column structure for example this is columns it is a frame structure and this is also a column and this is my continuous beam running through the columns so according to the aci this states that from the l by 8 distance from the column from the fixed columns l by 8 you can provide the overlapping of the steel bars so here if i draw my steel bar here for example this is my steel bar so and this is another steel bar for example so another steel bar so we can provide only the overlapping of the bars only at l by 8 of the beam this can be overlapped similarly here this bar can be overlapped only at the distance of l by 8 from this end and l by 8 from this end while this mid region this region here which i want to show here no overlapping is allowed no lapping of bar no lapping of bars are allowed in this region why because we have maximum bending moment at this portion of the beam for example if i draw the bending moment diagram so these are the columns these are the columns so when the load acts on this beam so it will show deflection and bending moment like in this way where we have negative bending moment at the supports and we have positive bending moment here at the mid span of the beam so in the maximum bending moment here will be at this portion of the beam which is specified by aci so at l by 8 we can provide the lapping because we don't have maximum bending moment past the bending moment at this span and also here we but the maximum bending moment here at this span so that's why no overlapping is allowed at this region because of the maximum bending stresses now in the core here at the supports there is also some rules for example if i draw this this is my steel bar and here in my another steel bar so what says the code says that only an upper section this can be overlapped and this distance is l by 3 here this is l by 3 here this is l by 3 so the overlapping can only be done only at this region because in negative bending moment we have the maximum bending moment at the supports so we provide the reinforcement at the top section of the beam here we provide the reinforcement at the top section here as well at the top section and there is no such high bending moment at this region at the top section of the beam that's why we can overlap our bars in this region while in the l by 3 here no lapping of the bar are allowed here as well no lapping of the bar is allowed in this region because of the maximum negative bending moment so if for example if the total length of the beam here till here to total length of the beam is 10 meter so l by 8 means if i draw it here for example so l by 8 means 10 by 8 which is comes out to be 1.25 meter 
And here L by 3 means L is the total length of the beam which is 10 divided by 3. So it comes out to be 3.3 meter. So L by 8 means 1.25 meter. So at 1.25 meter this distance we can do our overlapping of the bar. Here is well 1.25 meter we can do overlapping of the bar. But in this region there is strongly prohibited the overlapping of the bars. Similarly at the top region L by 3 which comes out to be 3.33 meter. So here 3.33 meter. Here as well 3.33. Here as well 3.33 meter. So here the no overlapping is allowed at this region. Here the at 3.33 distance from this end. If we divide this beam into three regions. So at 3.33 no overlapping. And again from here 3.33 there is no overlapping is allowed. Here. Only at 3.33, the mid distance, the overlapping of the bars are allowed at the top section of the beam. So this was all about the overlapping of the overlapping zone for the steel bars in the beam. And hope you guys understood. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.